Any of you born again Christians? You love Jesus Christ? You walk with him? You know him? You know what it means to be a Christian? One who sees his need for forgiveness? Sees the love of God revealed on the cross? Sees what Jesus Christ has accomplished? Don't, oh, no, don't, don't shake your head. This is about the love of God that you can experience his mercy, his grace, his favor. Today, you can hear the word of God. You can hear God speak to you. God would give you a revelation through this preaching of the gospel. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It's a shame that two women would kiss in public. It is a shame. It is. It's a shame. The Bible reveals that. I mean, the standard of all things is Jesus Christ, the measure of all things. It's not you. It's not me. We're going to stand before God. And God Almighty has revealed his law in your heart and my heart. We know when we lie. We know when we break the commandments. We know when we sin. All men have sinned. All men are bad. All people have done wrong. We're all guilty. Now we need a Savior, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. The one that took the punishment, the wrath, the anger of God that came upon him that you and me might be delivered from the punishment of our sin. Our sin, the things we have done wrong. Have you ever lied? Dishonored your father and your mother? Huh? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Oh, you should fear God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Oh, I'm talking about that, which is wonderful. His name is wonderful, Jesus Christ. I'm talking about him who rose from the dead. He's the, 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 the great I am. I am the resurrection and the life. Do you know him? Are you born again? Are you spirit filled? Are you ready to meet your maker? These are important questions. Do you know Jesus Christ? Do you love him with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength? <laughs> Loving God is the most important thing. You say you love God, but you don't. You say you love God, but you don't obey God. You say that you love him and that you're going to heaven, but you live like the devil. You reject him, yes, yes. You support homosexuality. You support that which is wicked. No, homosexuality is sin. It's wicked. See, this is, this is exhibit A, what I'm talking about. A heart that is hard towards the will of God, the purpose of God. The heart that is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Your wicked heart. Your wicked heart. Yeah, you're a sinful human and you support, you support homosexuality. You support that which God does not support homosexuality. It's wicked. Two women kissing, two women sleeping together is an abomination in the sight of God. And I'm going to tell you the truth because I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I need to tell you the truth. God loves you enough to tell you the truth. No, you have made God like it onto yourself. You think that God looks favorably towards a lesbian. You think God created you to love women. No, if, if God created you a lesbian, there would be no, no children. Do you understand? <laughs> Two women cannot produce children. You understand, God has designed a man and a woman, holy matrimony. It's holy in the sight of God. It glorifies God. Children. Oh, but when you pervert it, when you twist it, when you, t when you call wrong right and right wrong, you become a reprobate, a reprobate mind. You no longer know what is right and wrong. Two women sleeping together is right to you. To, to know is what God has said. Two women should not sleep together. There's sure a lot of lesbians here tonight. I didn't realize there's so many homosexuals. So many of them that have, that have twisted the truth and they believe a lie. Well, praise God that Jesus Christ has come to deliver you lesbians out of your, your demonic sin. It's demonic. Yes, there's an invisible realm. Yes, there's demons. Yes, there's Lucifer, the devil, that comes to steal, kill, and destroy you. But Jesus Christ has come to give life, life more abundantly. You need to read the Bible to your children. You need to explain to them what God loves and what God hates. God hates homosexuality. It's an abomination. Yes, God does not like homosexuals. Oh, it's in the Bible. I want you to see what the Bible says. Just like what he reveals about liars. All liars go to the lake of fire. All liars who do not tell the truth. Oh yes, God has written on your heart his commandments. His commandments. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. His law comes to you, convicts you, shows you your sin, shows you your crime that he may heal, he might restore, he might renew, he might change you. Oh yes, you need to be changed. You need to repent and change the way you think. 
You need to repent and turn away from your ungodly lifestyle, your ungodly habits. You need to turn away. If you're a lesbian, you need to turn away. And you need to do what is holy and righteous and good in the sight of God. And God commands you to be born again. You must be born again. God commands you to repent. You must turn. You must acknowledge your sin. I don't care if that's one lie will send you to hell. One lie. That's serious. That's serious. On the day of judgment when you stand before him and he shows you the very first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me, and you have exalted yourself above him, you have lifted yourself up. You love yourself. You think about yourself. You worship yourself, your government, your rules. Your, uh, yeah, you have taken the throne of God. You are doing what you want, when you want, whenever you want. And you give no thought of God, no thanks to God. And then you break the second commandment. You make an idol. You make a graven image. What is that graven image? It's in your mind. You say, my God would never create hell. Oh yeah, your God would never create hell because your God never existed. Your God doesn't exist. It's an imagination. You have exalted yourself and you have made a graven image in your mind of who God is. Your God says that he loves homosexuals. Your God says that he created that. Oh, and that's beautiful. Oh, your God. Your God's a figment of your imagination. You broke the second commandment. You made a graven image and you're guilty of sin. Now you can confess that sin. Confess is that you agree with God what is sin. You confess your sin. Thou, thou shall not, what? Have graven images in your mind of who God is as you exalt your image. I'll tell you, the idols of the heathen, they're silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have eyes, but they see not. Ears, but they hear not. They have, they have breath, but they speak not. They're deaf, dumb, and blind. And those who worship them are like them. Oh yes, those who put their trust in them are like them. Look, the Bible is true. It speaks to you and to me. I have made a decision to serve the Lord. I have repented of my sin. I've acknowledged my crimes and rebellion. I have acknowledged my bad attitude. You have a bad attitude because God won't let you be a lesbian. God won't let you do what you want to do. But you rebel. You rebel against God. You ignore the voice of God. You ignore the love of God. You ignore the mercy of God. You ignore God's favor, His grace that leads you to salvation. Oh, many of you think you're going to heaven. Many of you think you're good people. Oh, good people go to heaven. No, good people don't go to heaven. There's no such thing as a good person. All have sinned. All have fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. There's none good. Show me a good person. Show me someone that when they die and you stand before God and say, I'm a good person. I'm a really good person. Hey, I, I love my sister. As you were a lesbian. So you say, I loved her. Yeah? You lust it. It's a perversion. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Someone's got to tell you the truth. You've been lied to by the devil. Satan has come to steal, kill, and destroy you. But Jesus Christ came to give you life and life more abundantly. You don't have an abundant life. You're miserable. You're miserable. That's why you put on the outfit. That's why you put on the makeup. You hide the wounds and the pain, the insecurity, the loneliness. But Jesus Christ will come and give, give you life. Jesus Christ. I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, I am the way. Are you following him? Are you born again? Have you confessed your sin? Have you repented of your sin? Have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Do you obey him? Do you serve him? Do you think about him? Do you praise him? Do you love him? How loving God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Or do you love yourself? Do you love your show? You love your movies? You love everything else? You love the creation of God rather than the creator? Oh, I know you always have. That's why it's a wicked. That's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked to be selfish. It's wicked to be covetous. It's wicked to ignore God and walk in unbelief, that wicked heart of unbelief.